the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. We haven't been together for a little while now, apart from at the weekend, of course. So it'll be nice to see if, uh, if I'm on my own or if a few of you have come to doodle along with me today. We took a little break in the shack because we've been busy here at Clarity Towers. And, um, and I think it's, it's about high time we got back together again. So let's see if you're there. Let's see if you can hear me. Hopefully the volume is okay. My name is Barbara Gray, by the way, in case you didn't know. And uh, good morning, Carol. Here we are. Once I see one name, then I know that everything is fine. You can hear me fine, I'm sure. Sound is all nice and clear. Thank you, Paul. Okay, so Paul Church is in the building with you today and he will be able to answer any questions that you've got. Hello, Helen. Hello, Alice. Lovely to have your company. Sonia, grüß dich. Lovely to see Sonia. It was so good to meet up with you at the weekend too. So many of you. In case you're not aware, we had our open days at Clarity on Friday and Saturday, and we got together um, just outside Maidstone for two days of celebration. It was, it was absolutely brilliant, even if I say so myself, you know. And I'm sure that I'll talk about it during the course of this hour. I'm still coming down from it. I'm really tired. You know, we don't ping back like we used to, do we, girls and boys? Um, yeah, so, but there were, it was, it was really lovely. The weather was beautiful. The venue is excellent uh, in Ditton. And uh, there were about 200 people each day. Uh, over 200 each day, but it didn't feel like it because we we had workshops going, we had make and takes, we had all our, our lovely demonstrators, our talented um, our talented designers. Uh, they were there just entertaining and having fun. It was absolutely brilliant. So, you know, if you were there, then you know it was. So hands up, come on. Who was there? Hands up. Let me see. Happy Monday, everybody. Who was there while everybody's waiting to come in? I know Ken was, and loads of you were, um, and lots of you came from a long way away as well, you know, made a weekend of it. Uh, but it was pretty special. It was pretty special, even if I say so myself. Yeah, so uh, I thought we'd do some doodling today, and uh, and I'm still digesting. I sat in the garden yesterday and I just stared out at the clouds. I just stared at the clouds going past. And I thought about, and I thought about the, um, the two days that had gone before. Um, you do, don't you? And you think, was it a success? Is there anything we could have done to improve it? Was it, was it as good as I think it was? It was so important after a couple of years to get back together, you know. So if you did go, I want to thank you, you know, because I know for many, many of you, it was um, the first adventure out. It was the first time out into a large crowded place, you know, to a big event. And I, I said to a couple of ladies at the weekend, if you are going to venture out back into a public arena, then I think the Clarity Open Days were a really good, a good launch pad, a good stepping stone, because it was so safe. And, it, you know, even the workshops, we kept the little tables, everybody had their own space. Um, and the, the, because the workshops were going on, it kind of stemmed the flow of, of traffic around the demonstrators. So there was far more room, it felt more spacious. And because the weather was lovely, of course, we opened the doors and Loads of us could sit outside under under the trees in the shade, and that no, was it was a smashing. Yeah, so so I was sitting looking at the clouds yesterday, just going over it, thinking about who I'd seen there, who I'd met there, you know, who had who had come to to spend time with us. I think all in all, it was pretty spectacular, you know, and and you know what was really interesting? Oh, shackers! Right, what was really interesting? was when I said, how many, how many people have never been to a, an open day event before a Clarity? And the number of hands that went up, the number of newcomers, you know, the old diehards were there, of course they were, you know. 
and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. But you will agree when those hands went up, there were so many newcomers, so many new people to the fold. And listening to people and mingling and um, I tell you what, the overriding common denominator was us. It was the Shack Shack. So many people who, who used the shack and joined in in the shack during lockdown um, turned up. I know that because they told me. Yeah, so that is really something, isn't it? Now, I thought it would be nice if we started a new doodle because we've been, you know, we've been... Um, I went to Brooklyn, didn't I, to see Grace. Did you meet Grace at the Open Days? Yes, she was at the till with her best friend, with her bestie, Lizzie. Um, so I think for many of you, many of you knew Grace from the old days, you know. But she lives in New York now, and she came, she came all the way from Brooklyn for the Open Days. There you are. How's that? How's that for loyalty? Yeah. So that was good. That was lovely. And she leaves again tomorrow. but. We've had a wonderful week and uh, she was a huge help. Pat. Ah, oh, Pat Hoskins says, it was better than you think it was, Barbara. Have no doubt. It was so good to see you, Pat. And how far did you come? I think, well, your handsome son. He brought you all the way from, where are you, Devon or Cornwall? You're really right down on the West Coast, aren't you, Pat? Yeah, so yesterday when I was staring at the clouds, I was I, I had my head on your on your beautiful pillow, on your cushion that you 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 gave me as a gift. And I was thinking about you. And one of the other things, do you remember? And I don't know even how the conversation came up, but we were talking about um, the Jurassic coastline weeks ago. And then Ken, who was also there at the weekend, he said that he was going. It was just the coincidence was quite, quite. Oh, I know what it was. I wanted uh, ammonites because I've got this pottery idea. And then Ken turned up. Many of you gave me beautiful gifts. And for that, I'm very grateful. Thank you. I want to show you what Ken brought me. So look. So Ken went to the Jurassic Coast and true to form, this is a, this was an ammonite that I drew years ago. In fact, you know, it was one of the very very old look, 103. This was a long time ago, 2015. Look, it was born. I drew this in 2015. That's seven years ago in May, right? Look, it's a new design club stamp. Look, this was before the concertinas. This is when we still did it like that. <laughs> hey, how about that? This little shell works beautifully as a frame. All right. Yeah, yeah. Look. No, I say. Anyway. So, so Ken made a card. How thoughtful is this? To go back into his, his library, his vast library of craft stash, find a little card. Okay. Make me a beautiful card. Nice. You said an old fossil might give you inspiration for your pottery. Check it out. All the way. This is impressive. Look. I know. Look at that. Let me go on the other camera. See if you can. Can you see that? Isn't that something? A bit blurry. Maybe better on this camera, hey? Yeah, look. Oh, I know what. See, because I'm out of practice. Silly me, because I'm out of practice, I've forgotten that I can zoom in. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and that's something else. This is absolutely perfect. Right. This is, do you want to, this is where it starts to really put things in perspective. Now, if you can say that, good for you. Come on, let's try it together. Dactylias, Dactyliocerus. Go on. What do you think? I think that's a Dactyliocerus. 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 Here we go. MYA. Million years ago. 100 
and 70, you didn't even think Yorkshire existed 175 million years. This was found in Yorkshire and it comes, it wasn't found 175 million years ago, but it's, it's from 175 million years ago. That's amazing, isn't it? Thank you so much, Ken. And it's a perfect ammonite. Absolutely perfect. This is going to be so good for pottery. And then he also, look at this fish. Isn't that superb? Thank you so much, Ken. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I did go to pottery yesterday morning. I went to the class. <laughs> it, it wasn't my best day. <laughs> I was absolutely rubbish yesterday. <laughs> the old hand, hand, uh, eye, brain thing didn't work. Still not working that well, so be gentle with me today. But isn't that a wonderful, wonderful gift? Thank you so much, Ken. And I, I will, more will be revealed. More will be revealed. I have ideas. And I think that's what we creatives do. That was the thing about being there at the weekend on Friday and Saturday. It was that um, being in a room oozing with creativity, you know, and it wasn't just, it wasn't just us on that side of the table. It wasn't just the demonstrators and the designers. There were the, the girls in the kitchen. They, they're designers, premium designers. Then you've got um, Paul, you've got uh, all the ladies in the middle. And what was so lovely was that a lot of the, the designs around the outside of the stamps and the stencils and all our core products, the designers, apart from Mel, Mel Turner, all the designers were in the room, you know. That's something else, isn't it? So, and then, of course, you poured through the door and you're all creatives too. And so it was just this great sense of you could feel all the ideas and, and sharing. And it is a, it's a sharing of knowledge, isn't it? It's a sharing. It's an, it was like an outpouring of knowledge and tips and tricks and just sharing everything that we know and and you know you can see people comparing notes and ah it was fabulous blooming brilliant really you can't you can't really feel it unless you're in it and then you know what i mean so so this thank you ken is my well, I, I can't wait to get started on that but of course what it did for me it got me on the ammonite oh what an ammonite Okay. So I've shown you, for example, this one, which is still, we've still got this in the cupboard, you know. Why would you, why would you discontinue that, right? And then, of course, we also, we got a brilliant stencil. This is lovely. Look at that for a stencil. This is a club stencil too, stencil uh, club. Look at these lovely pieces of artwork that Dee, she was there, wasn't she? D Paramore, knowledge, wealth of knowledge, D. Look, see, so this one was with alcohol inks. Hey, check it out. And that's superb. Come walk with me along the sea where dusk sits on the land and search with me for shells are free and treasures hide in sand. There we are. I think I'd. Did I write that? Looks very familiar. She's a poet and she don't know it. <laughs> look, isn't that lovely? So here are the pieces of artwork. I mean, this is, look at that. That's, that's alcohol ink on parchment. Nice, nice, nice. And, um, and so the club stencils and the club stencil and the club stamps are still available. And then I was thinking, that's it. That's what we've got to do. Because I, I wasn't sure what we were going to do today. And I couldn't even string a sentence together yesterday properly. And then I thought, I know what we're going to do. We're going to do an ammonite. And then once you've got the idea, you're off, aren't you? And it's so easy to draw. We have to keep it simple, don't we? Got to keep it simple. 
So let me show you what I was thinking because I thought today would be a good start. And then this is, this is going to give us uh, a destination to the Jurassic coastline where lovely Ken was, right? And it's just a simple, beautiful doodle. And we can, we can, we can use ammonites and fossilized fish and all right for at least we can go on holiday to the Jurassic Coast for at least three weeks, I'd say, or a fortnight. Okay, depends on the traffic. <laughs> but look, 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 look. So I want to show you, this is so easy. There you are, look. So there's an ammonite freehand. And I thought if I break it down, you'll see exactly, because this is all we're going to do today. All you need to join in today, right? Piece of copy paper, pencil, pen, wubba. I've got a double-ended one. I've got one for ink and one, so a pink one. That's for pencil work. And the white one, we're going to use maybe down the road a little bit, but I'll show you why. Probably need a pencil sharpener. So you've got a pencil sharpener, a bit of copy paper, <clears throat> HB pencil. I've got a 3B. That's all right. And a micron pen. So that means we're going to use these micron pens. I, I know that lots of you picked these up on the weekend. Oh, we've still got some. So we've got 005, that's a very fine one. We're going to use the 01 for this job, right? And then if you're looking for sketching pencils or doodle pencils, these are great. Here we are. Faber Castell, the best in the business. How's that? Missing one. That's out of my stash. Oh, the HB one's missing. There you go. So you can get... A pencil's a pencil, you think. And you're right. A pencil's a pencil. A lead pencil's a pencil. But these are really lovely, lovely lead pencils. If you're if you're into, um, the, you know, the graphite, um, superior quality. Very, very lovely. And and for the uninitiated, B for black. You go 3B, 4B, 5B. They get softer and softer, blacker and blacker. And H for hard, it gets what it says, harder and finer and sharper. So you've got a nice selection. HB is right down the middle. So that's what we're going to do. And then just so that you understand where we were headed on this bus, on our Shack Shack bus, I thought we'll get into this because it's really fun to do. And then I thought, right, okay, how about we take some parchment? Because I know loads of you have started buying the designer parchment now. Okay. And the thing about the designer parchment, this is the Northern Lights one, right? The designer parchment, you just get beautiful colours. So I was thinking for our for our fossils, for our ammonite, let me just take a bit of white. See, just beautiful. Okay, the colour's there. It's already there for us. So we've got Northern Lights is a really superb colourway. It's the very first one. And then the second one, but these are lovely, these ones, for, the, for what we're doing. And then the second one, Indian Summer, is also beautiful for our Jurassic Coast. So these are very, look, you can pick up on the coastline, on the texture in the, in the shells. These are lovely. Okay. So I picked, because I, I thought, I know, in the Northern Lights one, there is a particular one, this one, look, and... And I remember designing it thinking, I really, 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 really liked doing it. But it's one of those ones that you think, what are you actually going to do with it? It's, it's like art for art's sake almost. It's, it's a nice one. See? And if you're not sure about how design a parchment works, see how one side's glossy and one side's matte? So that means that the ink, look, it even looks like like kelp or like some kind of sea urchin, doesn't it? See, when I, when, I, when I did it with alcohol inks, I did it with that in mind. So we're already halfway there. And I was thinking, I know exactly how we're going to use this. So look, fast forward. Let me show you. Look, 
Doesn't that look cool? See? So all I've done, down the road a little bit, but this is, so, and I asked Stuart and Paul to adjust the prices to half price. So we're back to half price on these big designer pads because I thought now, if you didn't take advantage of the half price offer a couple of weeks ago in the highlights, on a, you know when we do the highlights, I thought, no, you might really, rather than get frustrated, it's in the shack offers now. And we're going to leave it there for about three weeks until this project's finished. But I thought this would be really lovely. See, so what you do is you take the dull side. Draw, well, this is what we're going to do. Let me tell you our destination. We're going to draw it. Then we're going to ink it. Then we're going to take our, this is the first pay, first stop. This is the first stop. Then we're going to take our paper, our designer paper, parchment, right? And then you go on the, so the dull side is facing you. And then, for example, go to there, let's say just there, right? Then you, you pen it, pen it into place, right? And then once you've penned it, then you flick it over, then you take your white eraser pencil. And, of course, the black ink is on this side. And the coloured ink is on this side. So then you take this and then you cut, you take out the colour. In fact, let me just show you so you understand, right? So you could take the colour out so you can, you can get brilliant. Look, see this bit here? Look, look at that bit there, for example, right? You can get in there and you can take the colour out and you can create really nice shade effects. Highlight, low light, around here. See, you can, you can, you can pit it as well. You can make it look like there are pits in it. See, look. And then when you turn it over on a clean piece, you get that fantastic effect. And once we've done that, then we could take our our pergoliners or our polychromos, and we can create that three D effect as well, as well. Yeah. And if we look at these ones, because I saw this, I, I, I went on Pinterest and I looked, for example, and I saw uh, some art on Pinterest as well, because I thought, right, so this, for example, it, it's like the outside, isn't it, if you like. If you, if you can imagine what we're doing here, it's not, it's not a cut across. It's not like we've cut it across. This is three-dimensional. But this one, if you can imagine, you often see these in shops and they look like they've been sh like literally cut in half. And that's exactly the same. It starts at exactly the same place. Can you see what I'm getting at? Let me come in tighter. I think it's important that you know where we're going with this. There. Do you see? That opposed to that. Yeah? But it starts off with the same. It starts off with the same s swirl. Looks like snails. If you like a snail, we could do a little snail, couldn't we? Hey, <laughs> should we do a little snail as well? Look, you could, couldn't you? I mean, this isn't really Jurassic style. I, I, I haven't. I'm just thinking. What does a snail look like? It's got a tail. If you're a snail fan, there you go. What sort of head have they got? Hey, hey, hey. Who says? <laughs> <laughs> do they have antennae? Do they? Well, mine does. There you go. What's that look like, Barbara? <laughs> hey, something like that anyway. <laughs> I'm going to work on that. My snail needs a bit of work. But we're there, aren't we? See? And then the shading goes there and there. But today, we're not on snails, Grey. Get out of it. <laughs> Don't spoil your work, snail. But if you've got grandchildren, as soon as they see that, they're going, oh, it's a snail's house. Of course it is. Right, so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to pan out a little bit, and then we're going to get a bit, have you had a chance to get your bit of copy paper now? See, the reason I waffle like this is to give folks a chance to get their bits and bobs and their cup of tea. There you go. 
and breathe, hey, and breathe, yeah, it was so fun, it was so enjoyable, it really was, I hope you join us next year. People were talking about us doing two. I thought, uh, can we talk about that next week? <laughs> I get it. I really do. Because it's, it's safe, you know. And, and, and the Clarity Open Days, you know. That's the other thing, of course. You're in a room full of very vulnerable people, of course. There are lots of vulnerable people um, elderly people, uh, disabled people, ill people, but not ill as in sick, coffee sick. I'm talking, not coffee, you know, not cough, cough sick. I'm talking unwell people, people that live with illness. You know, it's a part of their lives. I mean, we gravitate towards, we gravitate towards um, crafting, don't we? And so to go into that room, it's pretty safe. Like when I went to the Madness concert at Brockwell Park in Brixton with 5,000 drinking, hopping about, jumping about, singing, dancing, lunatics two weeks ago, yeah, if I was going to get COVID, I would have said that that would probably be more likely there than the Ditton Community Centre. You understand. Right. Now, let's get started. Okay. And let's, let's. Just take a bit of coffee. This may not even be the one that's your best, but this is what you're going to do. It's You're going to count one, two, three, right? And it's not a circle. And, you know, I tried to draw I tried to draw around a, around a cup, but that was rubbish. It didn't work so well. So don't even do that. Let's go freehand. So you're going to start in the center. Look, let me show you. You're going to start in the center and you're going to go one, two, three, and then you come round. So it's, it's the one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? Right, you ready? Let's do loads of different ones, all different sizes. And, and don't press too hard. Right, you ready? Here we go. So we're going to go one, two, three. And then we can go back and look again. So that's quite nice. And then here, go like that. So you go one, two. See, if you want to make that a bit bigger now, can make it a bit bigger can't you or leave it as it is where's your rubber now and go again these are practice well they, you might be brilliant at this and say well no actually that'll do me so you go one two see that's not enough i needed to go around one more so that's a little baby one right i need to go one two three i need another loop ready so you go one two Three. So you've got more loop now, haven't I? One, two. Again. So I'll come around again. There you go. Go again. One, two, three. And don't worry if they're not perfect. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Just do loads of them next to each other. Ready? So you're going to go one two, three. Now, how far do you want to come around with this one? Keep looking. You can improve on it, can't you? Look, let's take a look at this one. So I've gone one, two, three. So this one, I'd probably come around a bit further. There you go. Let's try a different one. Go again. So you're going to go one, two, yeah, and then come all the way around and then come off like that. Three. That's a nice one. I like that one. See? One. Go round. So you're going to go, you need one, two, three lines. One, two, three. One, two. See? One, two, three. One, two, three. Go again. Just do a different one. This, isn't, this doesn't cost money, does it? One, two, three. There you go. That's quite a good one. All different. One, two, three. Do a tiny one. One, two. Oh, this is a really spirally one. Three. 
That's a lot of spirals in that one. Just fill the whole page. Come on. That's a nice one. One, two, three, that's a good one. I like that one. One, two, three, two, a couple of little ones. One, that's a good one. Have you filled your whole page yet? I like that. Right. Okay. Pick one. Pick one that you like. Pick one that you're particularly partial to. Is there one in particular that you think, yes, I think I nailed that. Hmm? Is there one that you nailed? I think that one's not bad. That one there. I'm not so keen on this line here. So I think what I'll do there... I think I'll, I'll probably change that up a little bit. And also, if you do have, if you are going to use this parchment, see, this parchment, it's also, you've got to look at the sizes that you're using. Do you see? So, I mean, you can barely see them here. But let's say, for example, you're going to use that one. That's probably the size that I'm looking at. Okay. But I wanted you just to get into this, this whole one, two, three. So that's quite a nice one too. That'll do. Okay. So now you've got the sort of size. Now you can change it up a little bit, can't you? So do you like what you've got or do you want to change it a bit? See? Now you can see maybe this one. I could come down just a little bit more around there. So find one you like and now start changing it for yourself. See? So I'm going to come around there because it wants to get smaller as it goes to the centre, doesn't it? See? So it goes bigger and then it circles round like a kind of a stairwell looking down. Hayley West says it's the Brian the Snail from the Magic Roundabout. <laughs> all right Hayley <laughs> nice to have your company now here that looks a bit ropey so let's take this out here let's come around this way a bit I'm going to I'm using this one have you found one that you like so it's going to be your pick your best one see never think you can't do it First of all, there are no there are no experts in the building for sure. And secondly, there are certainly no judges in the building. Hey. So let's take one. See it's a little bit I like that one because it's a bit different to the other one that I've done. So I'm going to go with this one. So now let's do once you're happy-ish with the shape. Then let's start on the inside and now let's just make, we're going to make steps. Let's have a look. Don't press too hard. When you come round now on the steps, try not to make them in the same place as the one in, the, in before. Do you see what I mean? Go in like that and they're getting wider apart, see, like this. So now... There. That's quite good. Do you follow me? Can you see that okay? So I've got that one there and that one there. I, quite, I think this is going to look rather nice. Yeah. That was good. That was good. This one would be quite good too. A bit different. That one needs a little bit more. This would be nice if I'd come in another, again. So maybe... Uh, again. Like that. I might have to work on that one. You could have a whole, you make a whole, use the pink rubber for this, Barbara. Right, you could make a whole, I don't like any of this now. I'll scrap that lot. 
So I'm letting people catch up with me. All right, so, and is it easier to go from the inside or the outside? Well, it's as long as it is and all that. It's up to you, isn't it? Whatever you prefer. The thing is, it's only in pencil and you're drawing. It's like a... See, I think this is going to be all right. It's certainly easier when you haven't got 200 people watching, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That'd be a better one. That would be a better one. There you go. Right. See, when you actually look at the original one, let's have a look at, should we have a look at the 175 million pound, uh, pound, oh, <laughs> year old one? See, I don't think you can put a price on these things. Let's have a look at the original one. I'm not saying we're supposed to be drawing this. I'm saying we're doing we're doing funky art, a doodle. But you see, it starts small and it gets bigger and then it gets bigger as it goes out and it goes one, two, three. Huh? That's better. Is that the one I just worked on? Yeah, nice. So now we've got this one. Let's go back to the original one. So we've got that, and we're happy enough with our dividers, are we? Look at the number of dividers in there. But we don't want that many. We're going to change it up a bit, all right? So do we like the shape? I like the shape that we've got going on here, right? Definitely. It the it's it's in the right di they're all headed in the right direction, aren't they? So I don't even want to make too don't want to do too many. See, look like mine, not too many. Now this one, I this one's quite open. Let's do a second one. Let's just do a second one. I think this one here. I quite like this one. Right. So now. I've got my, I've got my swirl. I think I've got my swirl right. Okay. Maybe turn the page as you go. I mean, they are absolutely exquisite, aren't they, really? 175 million years ago. That's insane, friends. Think about that just for a minute. Isn't it? 175 million years ago. So if we're in 2020 now, 2022, think about that. <laughs> and, and we think that history was... Well, it is, obviously, the past, but like Second World War or, you know, we go back to Victorian times or, or we go back to Anglo-Saxons. We go back to 400 AD and no Domini. So that's only 2,000 odd years ago. You see what I mean? 2,000, not 2 million. And we're talking about this little fella. He's 175 million years ago. Huh. And when I showed it to Dave, he said, oh, it's a new one. This is a young one. Well, it's a young, pretty one. Isn't that something? So now I've got that one, and I'm working on this one as well. See, I like that idea. We can be arty, you know. We're not putting this in the British Library, are we? Okay, so let's try two different things. We're going to try one single line like that, and then we'll do another one, a double line like that. I might actually do a bigger one like that, but there you go. The good news is I've got more copy paper. So this one here, I'm going to do the that one on, that. I think I need a few more lines, but I've just got to make sure that when I put the lines in now, in between, like that, that they don't... Do you see what I mean? They can't hit each other. It's a very busy one now, isn't it? Space it out a bit better, Barbara. Okay. Space it out a bit better. 
Forgive me if I'm a bit scatty today, but I am a bit, I know why that is, and I think you do too. Right, one, see that one, right, I'm coming round now. I'm going to have to move that one. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's all right, we're getting tighter now, getting tighter, tighter. That's what we've got to do, start from the outside and work your way in. Right. I reckon now we need to start getting a bit tighter around here. I bet you've already inked it up and taken the colour out, haven't you? So that one there, eh, like that. Okay, we're on it. Good enough? Good. Have you found, have you got one that you like? That's nice. Now, get your ink. Let's, let's pen this. Do it. We can do this. See, because be, to be able to see through it like that, I've got to pen it. As soon as I ink it, watch the difference. I can see it. You see? I can see it. I can see it. When I do it through on pencil, not so good. So that's why we're going to ink it up. Right, you've got your number one. This will do. You've got all week to do this. You've got all week to make as many, what is he called? Brian the Snail. You can make as many Brian the Snails as you like before next Thursday. And then on Thursday, that's when we'll transfer it and we'll put it on our, on our parchment, which gives you time to order it if you haven't got it. Just treat yourself to a pack of parchment because it will make such a difference. And you don't have to. I mean, this is a bit of a challenge, this one, but that's why I picked it because I thought, hmm, I love it because because we could, it's already got like a like a built-in seabed. Look, it's already there. And I thought, yeah, I did that deliberately, so I'm going to use it now. Let's ink this one up. Not sure about that. Pedantic, Barbara. Inked is inked. Pencil's easy. Pencil, you can change it up, can't you? Let's have a look. Isn't it funny? That's better. I have to pretend you're not there, and then it's fine. <laughs> but when I think you're watching, which you hopefully are, then I get all nervous. And as soon as I think now they've all switched off, then I can do it. I know. I know. Smart, not smart. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start with that. Number one pen. And I think it's a good idea to turn the artwork. So I'm going to start on the outside. And I'm going to just ink up. And this isn't the art art, this isn't the line art, this is just my, this is the, the template, if you like, isn't it? This whole page is all full of ammonites, potential, that's quite a nice shape, you see, when you look at the shape like that. Right, so then it comes around here. You know, you could do this with pencils, just shading, grey pencils. So thank you, Ken, for inspiring me. I think also, you know, the whole purpose of the shape is to hang out together and and in a safe place with like-minded people, like the open days, really, right? But, actually, this one could come over a bit, can it? Yeah, so to hang out with people in, um, in a safe place, have, have a reason to get together with those people. It's going to get tighter now. Um, have something creative.
get a creative project going, because I know a lot of us have lost our kind of mojo a bit. I get that. I really, really, really get it, you know. So it gives you something to think about. I'm going to pop that one there. Gives you something to think about. Gives you something to do. Gives you something to focus on. I spoke to so many people at the weekend about, you know, keeping each other company, keeping each other safe, keeping each other, giving each other a reason to get up in the morning and get dressed. See? So now we've done that. Now, I've done that with a straight line. But when we, when we, just to get the, the right place, but when I put it, when I do an overlay with this like that, I'm not going to do that with a straight line. I'm going to, I'm going to jiggle the line. Right? I've just done it like that just to make sure that you can see the steps get smaller and tighter as they go in. You could do really, really, you could do it more. You could put a lot tighter steps in so that it's more like that. It's entirely up to you, right? Let's take this one now. Just for an example, this is all about just... See, I know you could measure it, but let's do it by eye. Let's, let's do this properly. Let's just do it by eye. So that one's there. And now we're going to go, let's go along here. What, what about, let's try this then. If we put these, see, you could get all technical. I don't know if that's going to be such a smart, get tighter, get tighter. What do you think? In a minute I'll go, yeah, that's a good way to go. Okay. So this one, already I want to bring that one over a bit. So I'm going to bring, oh, that one's there. That one's there. Here we go again. So I've put the dots in place and I made the dots go like closer as I was coming in, see? So that takes a little bit of the thinking out of it, actually, people. I've got to say, that's not a bad idea. But now let's have a look what happens. Oh yeah, okay. Just got yeah, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll give myself that one. All right. Now that works, doesn't it, Barbara? See, and then you get tighter, tighter. Oh, hang on. Now we're getting really tight. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, that's easier, isn't it? If you do that. All right, let's do another one together. Right, so we start in the middle this time. See if it helps if you start in the middle. Just try different ways. There are so many different ways to arrive at the same ammonite, aren't there? Hmm? So what's going on this week? Let me think for a minute. Tomorrow, Paul's going to be in the groovy shack. Oh, hello. The groovy shack with you. Isn't he? And then... This time we'll jiggle the lines a bit, see if see what we think when we do it. We could do it on rough first as well, can't we? So, so Paul's on at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning with Groovy Tuesday. Nice. And then Tina is on telly on Saturday. Isn't it nice to see Tina out again? It's lovely to see all the ladies out again. So Tina's on Create and Craft. Oh, now, if I'm not mistaken, it's two o'clock on um, the Extra channel, Create and Craft Extra, and then at five o'clock on the main channel on Create and Craft. So if you've got Sky, it's easy to find the Extra channel. And if you haven't got Sky, I think Paul and I were saying, I think it's on FreeSat. Paul, maybe you could write it out. Right, now this time, right, we've got all the lines in place, but instead of going, let's try this. See a little bit jigglier. Should we try that? Come on then. Are you all right doing this? Are we happy doing this? See, to me, this is the perfect doodle. This is perfect because it's, it's a, uh, 
it's totally freehand. And I'm trying not to make it too complicated to get the, get the ruler out and measure it and that. No, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and and just just go freehand. You know, just relax. It's just for fun. But I tell you what, I bet in two weeks' time when we look at our artwork, we'll go, wow, that is amazing. And the more of them you do, the more likely you are to find one that you like. <laughs> it's like our lovely friend Elizabeth said, and Elizabeth, good morning. I hope that you're watching. It it was wonderful to see you on Saturday. Elizabeth is a, was in the wheelchair and I spent, you, a lot of you were in wheelchairs, but Elizabeth is the lovely lady who says, uh, I love it when she says it, the more you do, the better you get. And the better you get, the more you want to do. You know, she talks so much sense. I really like listening to her, you know. She really, and this is the thing about a lot of disabled people, just because they're physically disabled, that doesn't mean they're mentally disabled. That woman is so switched on and so bright and so clever, like, boom, you know, just sit and listen and learn. Yeah, so, so this kind of doodling, I think, is lovely because we have to keep it simple, friends. Let's not overcomplicate it. So we've done that. And now this time we've done straight lines there. So this time we're going to ramp it up a bit and we're going to make them jiggly. So if we were, if this were three dimensional, then it would probably, let's have a look. It would probably, it would go up. Imagine it's like that. It's curved, right? So that means that it would probably come up here and then along and then it will go in there. Do you see? So it will come up a little bit there. And it will jiggle along. And I mean, you could do it really round, but that doesn't really make sense, does it? Right? Because it's, it's 175 million years old. Okay. Look, see what I mean? So it's going to come up on the sides and then it's going to jiggle and then it will dip in there. Right up, jiggle, 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 and then down. And you'll see immediately it's starting to give it more depth. As soon as you do that, up we go. And then down at the side. Look, see? There. Up. Jiggle along and then drop down. It's crazy, isn't it? How a little tiny... Look at that. Keep going round. There. I just wanted to show you the difference. Look at the difference between the straight one. It's starting to look more organic, isn't it? Hmm? Up we go. Round down, up, it's missing a little bit. See, I've got this idea for pottery and what I want to do, I might have to dust this with French chalk or, or talc or something beforehand, otherwise I'm going to spend an hour picking the clay out. But I thought if I press, this would make a fantastic mould, won't it? If I press the clay into that, then I should be able to peel it off and I should get that embedded in there. And then I want to put that, like an applique, I bet there's a special name for it in pottery, but I don't know what it is. I'm going to put that then on, on, on something else. <laughs> I don't know. What it is. But that's the theory, okay? If you're like me, and I know so many of you are, you never stop, do you, thinking about what you're going to do next and what, what you're going to knit, what you're going to embroider, what you're going to stamp, what, what are you going to, which grid are you going to take, which plate, which groovy plate are you going to use, where are you, look at, look at that lovely, see? Which, which groovy plate are you going to use? Who are you going to make a card for? See, I agree with, with Sam. Sam Crow. I, I agree with her. I tend to make... It's very rare that I make something with, with, with a specific person in mind. Usually, I make something 
And then I think, Jane would love that. Mum would love that. I'm not as, I don't think I'm as well organised. <laughs> Although, having, ironically, as sometimes I do think specifically, like when I was making a particular piece of pottery for Sam, I wanted to use her stencils, her designs. So then I really did, I, I made it with her in mind. But in the main, I make things and then I think, of course, so-and-so would really like that. You know, like I made a, I made some ceramics for uh, for Leone, and I looked at it and I thought, I know I would like that. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, I think I'm not I'm not that well organised that I can, I actually make to to, with a specific person in in mind. Now let's have a look. What am I doing here? That's it. Got to concentrate a bit. Great. Up, over, and in. Yeah, getting a bit tight now. This is so pretty though. Look, and then that goes in there like that. But what happens in the middle? That's what I thought. It gets so tight and faint that you almost don't see it. So maybe, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how far I want to go with this. How far do I want to go? Let me do it and then and then I'll say, no, you should have stopped, Gray. Hmm. I think I think the Jew is out on that. I don't think you want to go that far, friends. I don't I don't know. Pens, I suppose. Well, in for a penny. She's in now, she's doing it. Oh, I don't know. Not bad. Choices, choices, choices. Hey. So then, right? This is a good one. Let me do this on a to finish on. This is something this is homework now. Right, so we've done that. Let's do a bigger one. Right, you ready? Bigger one. And I think what I'll do, I don't really want to say that's the size of it. That's the size of it when it's finished. So I'm going to go, let's go in the middle. One, two, three. Wow. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. That'll do. Happy enough. I think I need to come out a little bit more on that one. Watch. Then I'm going to tighten the tube on that one. Coming in a bit tighter. Right? Like that. I reckon. Okay. What do I think? Yeah, I reckon. We're getting there now. Look. Yeah. Who says? Okay, just feel I've got to come out a bit there. Hey, that's not bad, is it? And come in a bit there, like that. So let's say I've got that one now. Right, and then we're going to come round. Right, so we'll start out large. Like we're going to do the just the jiggles like that. Okay, I reckon now we're going to come in a bit tighter. Not too much on this one, though, because I've got a plan for this one. Come around. Okay, okay, that'll do. Oh, uh, uh, not there. See, what you don't want is that, because it doesn't, it just doesn't work, does it? So a bit of artistic license, friends, like that. Just want to get in between, don't you? Like that, that'll do. Right, so you got the picture. Okay, who says? Right, now, instead of making this the line, what we're going to do, watch, we've got the outline, but now... You know what I'm talking about? It's one of these. You buy them in shops and it's like somebody's gone with a really sharp razor and just cut straight down. So this is now like a cross section right down the middle. So what we're going to do is do this. Look, I'll show you. It's ever so easy. That, see, and then we can take one line. What I'm doing is taking one of the lines do you see? So if that's one of the lines, there you go, and then use the other one like that. So then we're going to go like that. That's quite big, that bit, Barbara. It's come out a bit like that. Okay. So in other words, right, What's what we're doing here, it's quite big in again, isn't it? Yeah. If I were going to, 
colour this in, this here is like a stencil. Your drawings, your designers, you just become designers. You're designing a stencil. See, in these bits, the bits that fall out. Do you get it? So that now is your... And then what we'll do... There we are, you see. Do you get it? It's easy once you realise how it works. So that so this is the line, and that's the line. That's the bit. And this is the hole. Or, yeah? You follow? So that's your homework, friends, is to figure that one out. And then when we're together on Thursday, but this is so cool, isn't it? Look, see? So when we're together on Thursday, what we can do is we'll start transferring this kind of thing to, well, actually, this one I want to transfer to a piece of plain white because we want to colour this in. This is going to be, the shade is here, see? It's not in... It's not there. The shade isn't there or there or there. The work is on the inside of this bit. Now, I'm being very heavy here, but there and there. And all the colour is in here. You understand? It's really glossy, beautiful. Okay. So, and it's all right if they're all wobbly because they're probably... 175 million years old. <laughs> right, so there you go. Tina's, Paul's on telly tomorrow on Facebook Live, and then uh, that's at 10 o'clock, and then Tina is on at uh, 2 o'clock on Craft Extra and 5 o'clock on the main channel on Saturday with some lovely, lovely, original, beautiful artwork again. Okay, and I don't think I... Ruth James says there is a film on Netflix called Ammonite about Mary Anning who spent her life fossil hunting in Lyme Regis. Oh, I saw that film. She's really unhappy, not a very happy lady, isn't she? She lived with her mother. I don't mean that there's anything wrong with living with your mother, but she's in that, wasn't she? I remember, I remember. And then doesn't a really poorly lady. Oh, yeah, it gets quite fruity, doesn't it? I remember that film. Ammonite, very good film. Very atmospheric, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember. And the rich chap, he just drops his poorly wealthy wife off. She has to look after her, doesn't she? And there's a real culture shock and a personality. Yeah, I remember it. Fabulous. Good film. Ammonite, Netflix. Very good. I remember it. Yeah, that's right. Lives with her mum. Thank you for that. Anyway, listen, thank you for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you've got plenty to be doodling along. And I shall see you on Thursday at 10 o'clock. And thank you again if you joined us on the weekend. We really appreciate the support. And, uh, yeah, does you the power of good. So lots of love. Go easy. And I'll see you Thursday. Bye-bye now. And thanks, Paul. What would we do without Paul? Everyone needs a Paul Church in their lives.